very concerned with last year. No, that's true. I think we've certainly improved there with uh, David Bonchek having another year under his belt. Jens Boss, the Danish player, is a very good passer, bringing the ball out. Uh, Charlie Green, who we've played in the back, is also uh, has been a front player, is good at bringing the ball out. But more important, and those three players in particular we mentioned all have very good speed. So one area where we've always had a problem in our team, we've been pretty slow, and our overall team speed is much greater, and specifically in the back. And you couple that with, uh, with Gino Schiraldi and, uh, and Clark and people like yeah. that, and yeah, you can Gino, mark people. Yeah, Gino Schiraldi, Clark, and George Espinosa generally play as our last man, uh, the marking player. And you know, it is a good combination. All right, on a team with uh, so many new faces, there is still one familiar face who has been with this team since its very, very beginning. We'll have a close-up look at the man Rick and I were just talking about, Gino Schiraldi, when we come back. I always try to improve my game, and I'm still, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not happy with some parts of my game, and I always try to improve that. remains the same. Defender Gino Schiraldi has been the heart and soul of the Comets defense and the team for that matter since signing as a free agent back in 1981. Tonight TV5's Leif Lysick takes a look at the player who has played more games in a Kansas City Comets uniform than any other player in franchise history. Schiraldi and the Comets pull within three. On a team that returns only six players who started the season last year, Gino Schiraldi is a model of consistency. At age 28, Gino is the only original Comet left on the team. I feel I can play another 10 years. No, I just, you know, I, uh, you know, I've been worked, I've been working real hard just as far as conditioning and and maintaining. Uh, you know, I try to improve my play. I've been uh, a student of the game. I always try to improve my game, and I'm still, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not happy with some parts of my game, and I always try to improve that. Schiraldi is coming off the best season of his six-year MISL career, setting career highs in goals, assists, and points, and earning a trip to the All-Star game. I really think in the last two years he's made lots of progress. I think that he's improved his game in every manner, uh, and uh, I think he had to do that. You know, the league improved, and I think he's uh, really put a very good effort into improving himself. It's hard to tell just how important Schiraldi is to the Comets, but over the last two years when Gino has been out of the lineup, the Comets are 0-12. But equally important are his contributions off the field. Schiraldi is a tireless promoter for the Comets, with a public appearance schedule equal to any political candidate. I would say Gino would probably do roughly 100 or so himself, simply because he has other uh, appearances he does on his own that are not necessarily affiliated with the Comets. But Gino and a lot of our other players are very good that when they do uh, appearances on their own for maybe their own business purposes that they are still representing the Comets very well in the community. When I'm tired of going out and you know doing personal appearances or, or working in the community it's time for me to, to hang up my uh, my shoes you know and I enjoy doing it I believe in that and and I think it brings us a lot closer to the fans and, and the fans are aware you know what's happening with the players and with the, the indoor game itself and and when it's when I when I'm tired of that and that's when I say hey I don't want to play anymore. But don't look for Schiraldi to hang him up anytime soon. He's in the first year of a three-year contract. Still, Gino is already planning for life after soccer. He'll open a pizza shop in the coming months. My dream right now is, is to win the championship, and, and I'm just preparing myself for the future as far as the pizza business. I have a good partner, uh, and we're looking uh, to open in a couple months. And But my number one goal right now is to play soccer and bring a championship team to Kansas City. Leaf Lysak, KC TV5 Sports. And when we come back, Jack Carey will show you what some former Comets are doing when TV5 Sports Special on the Comets continues. Oh, they do keep me very busy in here. I think it's, it's normal once you've been a player for 15 years that come game time, uh, you feel like you still want to be out there. As we mentioned, the Comets players have always been a big part of the Kansas City community. Many have made their homes in this area. And tonight, Jack Carey has a report on four former Comets who have remained in the Kansas City area after their playing days and are now living a life without soccer. Uh-huh. That's, that, that's great. That's great. 
Thanks. Former defender Clive Griffiths is still on the Comets payroll, but now he reports to work in a tie instead of shorts and sneakers. The term uh, Sucker Relations Operations, Sucker Relations is I'm basically a liaison between the Comets office and all the uh, amateur soccer uh, community of Kansas City and the surrounding areas. As far as the operations part of it, uh, the operations is involved with the, the day of game event, uh, making sure that the arena is ready and prepared for all these weird and wonderful things that the Liwikis have planned, so uh, it's it's very, very interesting. You sure I have everything right? Yeah, everything's Have you fine. paid these commissions yet? No. Only four players have played more games in a Comets uniform than Kevin Hanlon. The former defender and midfielder now works for Mutual of New York. It was exciting for me, and I look back with, you know, great memories of that, and um, the success of it was, I think, a lot had a lot to do with, with Kansas City, and it was very reflective of, of Kansas City people, and um, they uh, they just welcomed us with open arms, and it was I think it was a great mixture of many things, a great marketing job by the Liwikis, and um, you know the people you know saw the sport and liked it, and and the winning of it wasn't as important, whereas today right now, you know people want wins, and that's essential right now for the organization. I feel. Forward Craig Stahl is now in the insurance business, and defender Bob Bozada has his own painting firm. In fact, all four former Comets play on the same indoor team in an Overland Park soccer league. 